the traffic report is over. <laughs> you are now listening to KNOW Radio, and this is Scoop Nisker with another commentary on the way it is, the way it was, the way it will be. Friends, earthlings, baby boomers, members of the X, Y, and Z generations, all of you born in the last half century or so, lend me your pierced ears. <laughs> I've come to praise your generations, not to bury them. That will happen later, and all too soon. One problem for recent generations is that the people who lived through the Great Depression and World War II now call themselves the greatest generation, and that leaves you with an impossible act to follow. <laughs> and they accuse you of being spoiled, being slackers, having it too easy. But you can lay claims to your own Great Depressions and wars with enemies that are more personal, elusive, and existential. You were born into a time of transition, a time when the old stories are too old to have meaning and the new ones too new, a time when salvation keeps changing its brand name. You've lived through so many revolutions, sexual, political, scientific, and technological, that your heads are now permanently spinning. As a result, those born in the last half century might collectively be called the confused generations. And there are very good reasons for your confusion. Consider that you grew up in a culture that is doubting its own mythology. Way back in 1966, Time Magazine ran a cover story entitled, Is God Dead? And while the editors at Time chose not to answer the question, the fact that it was raised didn't bode well for the deity. It seems that even if God isn't dead, he may be having a midlife crisis. Consider that recent generations grew up reading about the theory of relativity in school, and even though you still don't have a clue what it means, it entered your culture as the mantra, it's all relative. So what is real and true and good is anybody's guess. And that led to the ethics of do your own thing and to the recent ultimate one word summation of relativity, whatever. <laughs> Consider that you live all your lives with some kind of doom hanging over your heads, either nuclear winter or global warming. You lived through a time when technology in all of its forms, A-bombs, birth control pills, automobiles and airplanes, radios, movies, television and computers were driving and flying and seducing you far away from your homes toward a global village that has no center and no traditions. You grew up in a world of homelessness and uncertainty, and all the king's horses and all the president's men couldn't put it together again. Some of you who grew up in this time have since been wandering through the wreckage, trying to find some spiritual refuge, political sanity, or a mythology that fit the curve of your soul. The search led some of you to a faith in astrology, or Hindu elephant gods, or anarchist politics, or to a belief in rock and roll. <laughs> So here's to your brave and adventuring spirit. This is Scoot Nisker on KNOW Radio, reminding you to keep questioning authority and questioning reality. And if you don't like the news, go out and make some of your own.